guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another homemade dog food recipe. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys yet another homemade dog food that you can cook at home for your fur friends. This is the first time I've ever shared a salmon recipe, so I'm so excited to be sharing it with you and also partnering with The Farmer's Dog in today's video. The Farmer's Dog created these do-it-yourself nutrient mix packs, and it ensures your meals are complete and balanced, and it's the only thing you have to add to your homemade dog food. I'll be talking more about this soon, but let's go ahead and get right into the recipe. You guys ready to make some homemade dog food? Yay! Let's make it! Let's cook it up! They are ready to make some homemade dog food. Are you excited and ready? Blissy girl's ready. Bentley, are you ready? Yay! Let's cook our homemade dog food. Okay, we'll cook it. Good girl. So the first thing I like to start with is prepping out all of my ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and cook up the rice because that's gonna take the longest. And then we'll go ahead and get the veggies chopped up. And this is a little bit of a time consuming process. So definitely consider buying frozen vegetables so that way you don't have to do any prep work. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the farmer's dog do-it-yourself packs. I have been loving it. If you guys didn't know, I have had my dogs on a homemade diet for over a year. There's so many amazing benefits having your dogs on a homemade diet. But one of the things that I was finding really hard was making sure that my meals were balanced and complete. I had so many different supplements I had to add in, and it just honestly was a lot of work making sure those recipes were complete. So the farmer's dog created these do-it-yourself packs. So that way, when you're cooking at home for your dog, you only have to add the do-it-yourself packs in, and it has all of the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that your dogs need to thrive. So a lot of you guys have may have heard of the Farmer's Dog. They deliver homemade dog food to your doorstep, but they recently launched the do-it-yourself packs for people who cook for their dog at home. I personally love to cook for my dog at home because it's a lot more cost-effective. So them creating these packs is amazing that now all I have to do is add in one pack. So how it works is you sign up, you tell a little bit about your dog, their weight, their breed, if they have any dietary restrictions, their activity level, and they'll create a custom do-it-yourself delivery plan. So you will get those packs delivered right to your doorstep. And included in that, you get recipes personalized. They are vet approved recipes in your account. So you're able to select whether you want your dogs to have beef recipe, turkey recipe, salmon recipe. They have so many amazing vet approved recipes for your dogs. I love that they give you so many recipes to choose from because my dogs really enjoy getting to eat different types of food. So some weeks I'll do turkey for them, some weeks I'll do beef, some weeks I'll do salmon, and there's so many amazing benefits from adding different proteins and vegetables. So I just love to switch it up and make sure my dogs are getting a variety. After you create the recipes that will be in your account when you sign up for the do-it-yourself packs, it will tell you exactly how much packs you need to add into the homemade food. You cook it up, add the packs, and it tells you how to store it, section it off. I know a lot of you guys had a lot of questions about serving size. The farmer's dog will let you know exactly how much you should be feeding your dog. So we already added the rice on and we made our rice cauliflower. You can also buy that already riced, but I find it a lot more cost effective to do it at home. So I just chop up the cauliflower in small pieces, add it to my food processor, and it makes cauliflower rice. And then I chopped up the sweet potatoes, I'm chopping up the green beans, and the farmer's dog will tell you exactly of how much ingredients you need for the recipes. So here's all of the prepped ingredients. So I like to chop the sweet potatoes small. We're also gonna be using some eggs. We have our green beans. I have the cooked white rice that we're gonna be adding in. This is the riced cauliflower. And then we're also gonna be using salmon. And my dogs have been loving salmon. And Parmesan cheese as well has so many amazing benefits. It's rich in calcium. It has vitamin A, B12. So so many great things. And then these are the do-it-yourself packs that we're also gonna be adding into to the recipe as well once everything is cooked up. Now, this recipe will last a little over a week for my dogs, but you can go onto the farmer's dog when you sign up for the do-it-yourself packs, and when you get the recipes, you can select how long you want the recipes to last for. So if you want it to last a week, if you want it to last just a couple of days, you're able to create the measurements for how much you want to cook for your dog. 
I love that the recipes you get from the farmer's dog are vet approved so you know that the recipes are balanced and complete for your dog. And I've learned so many things that I didn't know before. I would have never thought to add Parmesan cheese to my recipes until I took the time to read up on it and it's amazing additive to add to homemade dog food. And it's really nice being able to have the recipes created for you and know that they are great for your pups. So I am starting by frying up the salmon. Now you do need skinless salmon. So I just went ahead and removed the skin from it. I cooked it up and the skin slid right off. So I cooked each side probably for about three to four minutes and then flipped it, cooked it for another three to four minutes. And then I just chopped it up with my little spatula in really small pieces. And we're gonna be moving on to the rest of the ingredients. So I'm adding some more sunflower oil to the bottom of my pan and I'm gonna cook the sweet potatoes until they're nice and soft. Once the sweet potatoes are nice and soft, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my frozen green beans that are pretty much thawed by this point, but you can also use fresh as well. And then my rice cauliflower, and I'm just going to cook everything through before I add any more ingredients. After everything cooked through for about 10 minutes, I'm now adding the eggs. I just gave them a good whisk in a container, added the eggs, and then I'm just going to cook this till the eggs are completely cooked through. If you are gonna be cooking for your dog at home, I highly recommend getting a food thermometer, so that way you can make sure everything's the appropriate temperature. That helps me out so much. I went ahead and added that cooked rice in once the eggs were completely cooked through, and you can see the dogs are so excited and waiting patiently as I prepare their homemade dog food. I went ahead and added the cooked salmon. I'm adding that Parmesan cheese in, and then you wanna give everything a very good mix. Now that I have everything mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and take my food thermometer, test out multiple portions of the food to make sure it's completely cooked, and it actually needed a couple more minutes. So I cook it for a few more minutes, and then we're gonna be adding in the do-it-yourself packs. Feeding your dog a homemade diet has so many amazing benefits, but it's not enough. It's really important to make sure that you're adding in a nutrient mix to your homemade dog food to make sure it's complete and balanced and safe to feed your dog long-term. Getting the balance is really hard, so that's why the Farmer's Dog created these do-it-yourself packs to make sure that everyone can do it. You just add the pack in, it tells you exactly how much to add. Research has shown that 95% of published homemade dog food recipes lack at least one vital nutrient for your dog. That is so dangerous. Nutrient deficiencies can cause so many problems in your dog's health. So you really want to make sure if you're cooking for your dog at home, they're getting all of the vitamins and minerals they need. Are you guys ready to eat your homemade dog food? <laughs> they are excited and ready. Look at her sitting. As you can see, Blissy Girl and Bentley are so excited for their recipe. They seriously love salmon, and I have noticed such a huge difference in their coat, how much shinier it is. So I'm a huge fan of this salmon recipe. I'll have the recipe linked down below for you guys, and here's how I store everything. The farmer's dog tells you exactly how to section it off to make sure your dogs are getting the appropriate serving size. As you can see, Blissy Girl and Bentley are ready to eat. Bentley's already in the position. He's ex are you excited for this recipe? Are you excited? All right. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Go ahead and eat. Do you like that recipe, Bentley? He loves it, you guys. Absolutely loves it. Good boy, Bentley. Good boy. Are you excited for this new farmer's dog recipe? Are you excited? She seriously loves this recipe. You want it? All right, come on, let's go eat. I know you're excited. I know you're so excited. Stay, good girl. She is so excited. Eat. Do you like that farmer's dog recipe? She loves it. I think this is their favorite recipe so far. At least making sure to get every drop of his homemade dog food. Good boy, you love mama's cooking? Good boy, Bentley. 
Good boy. Look how healthy you look. You loved your farmer's dog recipe, didn't you? Good boy. He's licking his lips, you guys. He loved it. <laughs> Good boy, Bentley. Lucy girl ate all of her food. Good girl, Lucy. She's getting every crumb. Good girl. Thank you so much again to the Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. Pick up your do-it-yourself nutrient mix packs today. I will have the link down in the description box. It starts out at about a dollar a week, which is so much more cost effective than buying all of the supplements individually. And it gives you homemade recipes to go along with these packs. So we're such a huge fan of these packs. It just makes my life so much easier. I'm gonna go ahead and let the dog say bye. And I hope everyone has an amazing day. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, can you guys tell everyone bye, Bentley? Bentley, tell everyone bye. <laughs>